You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host, and I have a brand new face for Greater Brockton. I have Linda Thompson Clem, who's the campaign chair of the Old Colony YMCA Eastern Branch. Welcome to Greater Brockton. Thank you very much, Mark. Nice Appreciate to have you here. It. You are helping to put together a wonderful event coming up in June. Correct. It is called A Taste of Haiti. It certainly is. So here's my first question. Why is the YMCA in Eastern Brockton area doing a taste of Haiti? There's, there's a reason behind it, correct? Absolutely, yes. Um, the aftermath of the hurricane in Haiti in 2010 was horrendous, as many people know. So the Y across the country decided to get together and help build YMCAs in Haiti so that the children would have a place to have programs, maybe get a little bit of normality back. Mm -hmm. So Old Colony YMCA, with headquarters here in Brockton, decided they wanted to be part of this as well. So the whole group, there's um, seven, eight branches incorporated into the Old Colony Y, decided they all wanted to help out. So the best way to help out and raise the $35,000 it costs to build a YMCA in Haiti is going to be raised, we hope, at a Taste of Haiti on June the 10th. Well, that, I gotta tell you, that's great planning because food brings together people from different cultures. I know, I believe you guys have partnered with some of the Haitian groups in the Brockton Correct, area, yes. like, uh, um, like like Haitian community partners <laughs> Haitian, with Marlene Amade. Yes. I don't know if Shoop is part of that too. The South Shore Haitian United for Progress is. There's a bunch there's of Haitian a lot of groups them. because Brockton has a very nice Haitian population uh, with wonderful people that uh, I've gotten to know. I I uh, I remember back a long time ago. My <laughs> my wife went away to visit her mother, and I had Haitian neighbors down below, and. I couldn't cook anything to save my life, so I got to experience some of the different delicacies. I learned to eat things that I had never eaten before, which is fine, <laughs> okay? But this is phenomenal. The chef that you have over there at Stonehill College, this is at Stonehill College. Correct, it's in you the said dining June hall. June 10th, mm -hmm. and let's talk about the, what you're gonna have. You, you told me when we were off camera that you actually have gotten to sample some of the foods. I have, and Jocelyn Aurelian, the chef over at uh, Stonehill College, is Haitian. So if you could rely on anybody to give you a wonderful Haitian meal, it'll be Jocelyn. He's well known for his wonderful food. And there is wonderful chicken dishes. It goes from hors d'oeuvres through soups, salads, entrees, desserts, beverages mm -hmm. um, of Haitian uh, origin. And of course, there will be a cash bar as well for the folks that don't want to try that. But I have to recommend right off the top yeah. the passion fruit mousse for dessert. Well, it is really special. I don't know, maybe you can't start with dessert, <laughs> but you'll have it. I, that, that's the day that there were no calorie counters at Absolutely. the door. Put the scales away. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you happen to be diabetic like me, just forget about that for a while. My doctor will excuse me later after she we'll admonishes give you a pass. me. Mm -hmm. But just, I mean, the rice and the. The foods are rich in taste, okay? I, I, for a long time in my life, was not adventurous with food. I had an ex-boss that once told me I was pretty bland and boring, and then he took me from Malaysian food and Thai food and Japanese food and all sorts of other stuff. Always had Chinese food. The Haitian food is, is, is really good. It's absolutely wonderful. I know you mentioned before that the, the uh, butternut squash soup is one of your favorites, so we'll have to make sure we have a few bowls rather than just little tasting cups. Well, I started all of that years ago with Fred Fontaine, who used to work in the mayor's office. He's one of the most famous Haitians in Brockton, mm -hmm. and he it, it, it introduced me to that on the new year because it's, it's, it's specifically it's for the new year. So um, I'm looking forward to it. Now you're gonna have people talking about the campaign. $35,000, can you imagine in this country, $35,000 might get you one of those Reed's Ferry sheds, <laughs> but it certainly wouldn't build a YMCA no, in here. No, it wouldn't. And the whole history of the YMCA. I, I saw a documentary recently about um, a Jewish man, and you know what YMCA stands for. Now you just use the Y. Absolutely. But he helped raise money all over the country for Y. YMCA's, and there used to be YMHA's too, mm -hmm. but it's all the same. You think about the kids, the kids it's that the in a devastated area that they might be living, like I, I was talking to you about Rotary, Rotary International did shelter box, and there were tents where people were staying, and they, they could even still be some of them there now. 
it'll return normalcy. Kids are kids no matter where they are. And to be able Absolutely. to participate in a Y with the activities that are done, at least I know of locally, doing it down there even better. And, and these Ys are really unique because they are repurposed shipping containers. Okay. So the shipping containers that come from this country, which uh, the Y has sent, are always stocked with supplies that kids mm. can use, whether it's bicycles, shoes, uh, painting equipment, all sorts of wonderful things. And then once the containers reach Haiti, a foundation is built mm -hmm. and you get these two Ys, these two containers, which become the outer parts of the Ys and a wonderful roof is designed over the whole, mm. um, the whole building. So you've got a great open area in the middle. You've got small rooms on the side in the containers and a roof over the top. Wow. So they, they're able to have classroom space, a library, a small kitchen, bathroom facilities, and areas to, you know, take part in programs. It's really, it's really quite special. And this is going on all, all, this is local here, but around the country, the otherwise are all contributing. Otherwise. Not just in Haiti, I'm sure there are other areas of the world too. Well, the wise are all over the world, obviously, but mm -hmm. I, at the moment, um, you know, I guess we're concentrating on Haiti and I'm sure there are other wise within the United States also helping to put more wise up. We have four at the moment mm -hmm. and um, we're hoping that there's going to be for four to six more. So we'll be part of this. And the why that we're hoping to support will be built in Jack Mel, mm -hmm. which was one of the very hardest hit areas of Haiti. So the need is great. So I get two minutes left. Okay. You get one. Okay. Do you want to sell it? Tell the people <laughs> out there in TV Absolutely. land why they should come. They should come because A, they're going to be helping a wonderful cause. B, because it's going to be a really fun evening. We have Felix uh, Fritz, sorry, Orville, a, a wonderful jazz musician. And Jean-Claude Sanon will be our MC. Gwenaël Apollon, who I apologize to if I'm butchering his name, is the Secretary General of the Y de Haiti. And he will be there and will say a few words to everybody. Um, tickets are $45 for adults, $25 for 8 to 18, and under 8 is free. So you can bring your children and enjoy a wonderful evening. And as we said before, it's uh, Stonehill College, the Roach Dining Commons, and there will be signs out so people can find there's plenty of parking, uh, 6.30 to 11. And we'd love to see you there. We, we might have a few more surprises as well. Surprises are good. To get tickets, best way? Online at www.give.classy.org mm -hmm. backslash Taste of Haiti. Taste of Haiti. And what about an old-fashioned phone number? An old-fashioned phone number. If there is one. I haven't got my glasses on, okay, so can you see, see it? If there is one. Uh, they can call the I Central I, Y in Brockton, which is y. fine. Okay. And and they could get tickets at any of the Y branches throughout the Old Colony region. That's easy. Well, thank you for bringing this wonderful event to Brockton, and I hope it's a smashing success thank and you. a lot of people go. It's very nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you as well, Mark. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.